Hey guys, how are you? Uh, nice to see you all again. Since my video about Python books was so popular, I thought about just expanding the series. Today I have another cool book that I want to share with you guys. Uh, it's a book that really helped me when I was first learning design patterns. And really enough, the book is called Design Patterns in Python. Let's go and see it. So before actually moving into the book, I just want to talk about uh, what is a design pattern. A design pattern are guidelines on how to tackle uh, certain problems. As you know, the nature of coding is very, very flexible. You can pretty much do whatever you want. It's very free. That's a very good thing, but comes with some caveats. It's not uh, standardized. Uh, it's very hard to sometimes compare solution A with solution B because there are so many ways of doing it. But if you have a proven solution to a problem that works and everybody knows it, it's a lot easier to talk about it. The end result is that, is that design patterns sort of create a language that developers can use to speak amongst themselves. Let's picture it. Uh, developer A is speaking to developer B and is going about like, oh man, you know what? Like I have this problem. I can create these objects very, very well in this part of the code because this, this, this and that. And then developer B just goes along, have you tried using the factory uh, pattern or the abstract factory pattern? And then developer A is like, ah, oh, true, like I could have used that pattern, I just didn't think about it. So this is amazing. You can like describe a problem and like someone who doesn't even like are very deep into the problem can give you a solution that other developer can also give. So it's a standardized solution. And that's why it's good because it makes easier to read and easier to write as well because you have the recipe, right? This is very important. Like even if you're not planning on using them because normally you only use them for like very big code bases, you at least need to know them because you'll probably read about them if you're reading any code, uh, if you're going into any source library. The job of programmer is a lot more to read code than to actually do code. And since we're just speaking about languages, just a final like analogy, just to like solidify the knowledge that we have built uh, up until here. As I said, it's a language. So uh, what happens in the real world, you know? We have so many different languages. Uh, it's actually over 7,000 languages that we have uh, spoken today. For some reason, well, there are reasons, but uh, let's just not go into them right now. Uh, we've picked English as like the de facto international language and uh, a lot of people may say oh, it's a bad thing but I actually think it's a good thing because this enables collaboration because it means that I can speak uh, from a developer in India and I can speak with him, I can learn with him, uh, we can communicate and together we can find solutions to the problems. And design patterns are the same thing. Uh, they are tools that help bridge communication between developers. And I hope that you guys understood the, with the analogy. It's also important to reference that design pattern is sometimes not the best solution and sometimes actually the worst solution to your uh, problem. Sometimes uh, creating a standardized solution to a custom problem uh, will not always pan out the best way. Uh, with this out of the way, finally, we can start talking about the book. What I really like about this book is that you're going to find all the design patterns from what people normally call common uh, gang of four. So there was this book called um, Head First Design. I don't know exactly the name. I can link it. And basically they were written by four authors and they were very revolutionary into, into this whole topic of design patterns. And so uh, the gang of four patterns basically are a collection of design patterns. They're probably like the most famous one. What I really like about this book is um, its simplicity and uh, the modularity. Let's actually go and open the book. Let's start. Uh, first of all, we can start with the cover. Uh, I really like the Python symbol in the background. I think it's pretty neat. It also includes some uh, free access to instructional videos. Uh, well, they're good. They're pretty much just like what you find in the book, the person speaking over it. Sometimes literally it's just the person speaking like over the text, but sometimes they can also give you some other insights. I don't think they're like really necessary. They're a nice extra though. Opening up the book and going to the index, we find here all the nice patterns and their page so that in the future, if you want to use this as a reference book, we can. So. First chapters are very good. They'll give you, uh, so they'll just tell you about what is the design pattern, the types of design patterns, 
and also it's really neat they will help you set up your development environment with vs code or whatever you you want to use and you also have a github repository with the examples of the code that you just found so you don't actually need to write them you can just go there and uh, you can just use them so this is pretty cool let's move on to a pattern just a side note this is also really important. These are UML diagrams. They're basically graphical ways of representing code. The book examples do use these UML diagrams. I'm go over uh, just one pattern so that you can see the, the structure of the book. It's the same for every pattern. So we're just gonna go with one and we're gonna go with the factory pattern because it's one of the easiest patterns to understand and implement. We start, we have an overview. So uh, the technical explanation. We move on to the terminology. You have a UML diagram. You have a, an abstract example. Okay. And then you have a use case. Here you can see it's factory class, 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 oh, class interface, class B, class C. Here you can already see that you have chair factory, I chair, small chair, medium chair, big chair. This is interface chair, by the way. Uh, and then you also have the code here. Okay, so sometimes they will include uh, new coding concepts just so that you don't get lost. That's pretty much it. And then you have here a summary of uh, what is all the patterns. Uh, so you can see here already, abstract factory design patterns. You have an overview, terminology, you have an abstract uh, diagram and example. So you have to, so basically this thing here is the graphical representation of this code here. An example, na, 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 and it gives you the use case of where you might use this pattern. And you have here the UML diagram with the concrete implementation or the concrete example, the source code as well. All right, see new coding concept. So like now they mention exception handling, so they brought it up so that beginners don't get confused or overwhelmed. And then we end up with the summary and we go on to the next one. The book is basically this. I really like this format because it's it's very good to have an abstract and then have a concrete example. And especially if then you're working your own projects as you're reading this book, you can like, hmm, maybe I can apply, uh, maybe I can apply the factory pattern to my problem. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't work, but it's this iteration and this like going to the book and going to the going to the computer and actually implementing it that will actually give you a intuition on how these patterns can be applied. First, let me just give a shout out for the author, Sean Bradley. I really like your book. This was my first design pattern book and I honestly don't think I could have gotten like a better one. It's very easy. Definitely check this out. Uh, big props for the author. Keep on the good work. All right, guys, that was the review. If you guys uh, want to want me to talk more about design patterns, I would love to. So if one person, just one person comments and uh, asks uh, for me to review a design pattern, I will do it. I will review my favorite design pattern. It's called the repository pattern and it's not included in the book. I just look at it because the book is there. Please tell me and it will happen. In any case, this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see each other and next time.